Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff, another Just Fun Tour. And today we are taking a little trip to Europe. We are visiting the island of Heart Pond. And Heart Pond is like a classical European style island with villages, cities, roadways, farmland. Like, I'm excited. I want to go in. I want to see everything that Heart Pond has to offer. So we are not going to hesitate. Let's go ahead and take a look at this map. Okay, there is quite a few waterways in and throughout. I see a lot of path work being done. Um, definitely some set residential areas. I haven't had really set areas that are like little resident clusters in a while. So I'm excited. There's quite a few main houses on this island as well, some inclines. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what this all is. Let's check out our villagers. We have Diva. There's Poppy, Freya, Rosie, Rold, Bo, Ioni, there's Raymond, Wolfgang, Sasha, and of course all of our residents in our main houses. And now the dream address is down at the bottom. So if you feel like you need a little European getaway with me, type that in. Let's go and explore Harpon. If not, you can save it for another time. Of course, it's always in the description along with the creator's information so you can go and check them out as well. With that being said, let's start this tour of Harpon. Now we come out of the airport and there's Poppy in and amongst the wheat fields, but you're in this like quiet kind of rural area that's just so pretty. And I don't know, there's something about this time of day that's just beautiful. Now there are a bunch of little gifts and handhelds here. So let's see what we have. Take out coffee, always a favorite. There's a duster, pocketbook. Ooh, a red balloon, tree branch one. And a handheld lantern. Now, normally I go for the balloon. The balloons are my go-to. But I feel, I don't know, the early morning on the island, I think we're going to go take out coffee. Oh, look at the custom dresses on our resident. Oh, that's so pretty. I want to say hello. I wish I knew what they were saying and someone can translate. But they look so cute in their little dresses. And since we've started going to the right, we might as well continue going to the right. And there's a house right here. But look at, look at how rustic and just, it's so peaceful right here. Like, this is so quiet and calm and I'm loving it. But this villager's home. So we might as well go inside and say hello. This is Bo's house, and look at how rustic and comforting this is. I love the wood everywhere, the little, the country kitchen. He's got his bed all tucked in. The wood wall, like the stacked wood wall. I don't know, it's so rustic, and yet it's it's got an elegant feel to it. I love the artwork on the walls. It's so pretty. This is such a good start to our tour. I love when the houses are done and you come out, everything's just, look at how pretty this place is. Look at the farm fields. I don't want to miss any of it. There's another residence house here, but they're not here. But look at these like dirt roads that you're following, but they're covered in the snow and the leaves. Like that's so pretty. gas here another villager or resident i should say down towards the beaches the beaches look pretty simple there's a little campfire going on here it looks like l actual camping going on here oh they've got like oh this is the campsite okay the campsite is located down on the corner but look at the customs under these tents they look so good then you've got the facilities for the campers right here. There's tanks of water. There's running water right here. You've got bathroom facilities. But look at how pretty. Oh, I love it. The campsite's so pretty. Heading back more into the 
main part of the island. I love this rural area. I don't know. There's something about farm areas that just really do it for me. And then you come to a main house already, which is so exciting. We're still in the rural rustic part of the village, but look at how pretty this is and a main house. So obviously we're going to go inside and say hello. Oh, this is like, this is like a hotel. They've got custom, I love the windows on the back. How pretty. They've got a gyroid working the front desk. Yeah, this is very much giving like a hotel. Okay, unexpected and I love it. This is like the nicest bed and breakfast in this rural countryside on your trip to Europe. If you're backpacking through, this is where you want to stop. How pretty is this? Oh, I love the windows. So beautiful. Oh, you've got a little cafe right in like the hotel bed and breakfast area. So you can get up and you can come and get something to eat. Look at those pancakes. This is, oh, I love this. This is so pretty. Keep saying pretty, but it is, I don't know. There, look at the custom tablecloths and the partition behind where it is. Look at all the fresh baked bread. Oh, I love it. And upstairs is like the spa section. So if you need to unwind a little, look at you can come and lay down on the bed. Oh, I can't get onto it, but you can come and lay down on the bed by the sauna rocks. You can sit in the hot tubs. Look at the shower section. Oh, I love this. What am I stuck on? Oh. The benches. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. This is pretty. So yeah, if you need a little relax, you come upstairs. All right, we are starting off strong here. This is such a beautiful island. Look at how rustic we're behind the houses where we were before. Rustic and beautiful. Where am I going? And beautiful. Oh, you head through and you're like... All of a sudden, you're out of the rural area, and you're kind of in the city portion. And look at this little shop. I love the layering. Like, they have diner tables up top. They have the castle walls in behind. They have the, the, they have the stalls, the panels. These are that's so pretty. Look at these shops, and look at these roadways. A little hamburger shop. Oh, how cute. You can walk up to the windows and order some food, sit in the chairs. A little flower shop as well. I love the signage that they're using. This is such a, just a darling little town. Oh, you can go up a level. Oh, oh this is behind. It's kind of like a little park. And that's up behind where, like, the hotel bed and breakfast is. Oh, how pretty. I love the roads. I love the little town. And now we come up to more of a residential area. And how cute. I love the roadways, the path, the design. The custom that they're using for the road. If I could get the words to come out of my mouth. So nice. Look at the shape of this. And it's pathed out. So nicely. I don't want to go up that direction yet until I continue back in this direction. Because I do see that we do have some villagers home on this beautiful little street. I just love it. What would you call this? Like a cul-de-sac? Kind of. Because it's kind of you got nowhere else to go except for up. But these villagers are home. So let's go inside and check out their beautiful houses. It is Mary's house, and look at that window in the back. This is so elegant. I love the follow-through with the 
pattern on the bed matching the couch in the living room. This is so pretty, but look at the... Could you imagine waking up to those windows and the sun just beaming in on you every day? Like, it's so nice. It's so classic. It's so pretty. It's perfect for Mary. I love the colors, patterns, beautiful house. Heading over to the neighbors because they are also home. So yeah, we're definitely going to go in and say hello. Oh, look at this. It's got like an industrial feel to it. And I'm loving it. I love the record carpet. That one is so cute. And then you've got the matching record player over here. But I like the black tones. I like the colors. I like the art on the wall. The design. The little kitchen area. Like this is, this is nice. Oh, there's rolled outside. Let's go up a level. And oh, this is just like a walkway. But look at the custom groundwork with the brick and the snow running through it I don't know this is just so beautiful I love I love how seamless it was going from this like perfectly rural area to this fully functioning town it's so good oh I gotta go around and I don't want to push anybody I'm sorry I did see stairs over here by Roald and Raymond bringing us up oh hello again I will say hello but again I'm not sure what they're saying, and I apologize, so if anyone knows, please let me know. Let's go on this little walkway up here, and is this a main house? It says lobster. Oh, I am intrigued. We have a main house. It says lobster. You've got the, uh, what is that? The ship's wheel on the door. I love it. The bottles, the gyro. Like, look at the design. On this island the colors are gorgeous oh this is a group of main houses how pretty but let's go in I'm, I'm intrigued by the one that says lobster oh this is a very very fancy looking restaurant you come in Here's your cash register. Look at the food here. This is a, yeah. This is a little upscale, a little fancy. Oh, I can squeeze through. Oh, this is the kitchen. Look at, it's full of the French cheeses. It's got all the fresh seafood and produce. The ovens. Look at the window on the back. Oh, I love this. It's a full... Oh, the carrot on top of the bags. What a cute little touch. Oh, this is darling. Upstairs. This is kind of... This is feeling very... Um, This is like an employee lounge for sure. You've got some of the food, like somebody's having their break up here. You've got the little cappuccino espresso maker over in the corner, the little refrigerator, microwave, couch. Yeah, this is definitely like a relaxing staff lounge type area. Or are these stairs leading to like, oh, there's a pillow up there and books. Like that could be like a loft bed itself. I don't know. It could be maybe... This is like the apartment of the person that owns the establishment. I don't know. I think this is like open to interpretation. Take it as you will. It's a cool looking room though. Okay, so lobster is definitely, we're talking a little more upscale, fancy seafood restaurant. Oh, look at the little flag sitting on the bench. We have another main, listen to the music. I love it. It's very Parisian. But we have another main house, so obviously we have to go in. Oh, 
Oh, this is a shop. Okay. So this is like a boutique clothing store. You've got the fitting rooms. You've got the clothing racks. You've got the, look at the custom clothes hanging on the wall, but the same pattern is on the artwork. It's on the sign on the top. It's on the lamp. So is that like, and on the bag. So that's like their logo. That's like their thing. Is this like an actual logo for a store or is this just something they came up with? Because it's very clever. It's very pretty. Very cool. Upstairs is giving apartments for sure. This is definitely an apartment. You've got your washing machine. You've got your little kitchen area. You've got your little living room relax spot and then around the corner you have your bed little setup how cute is that and look at the little custom door on the side who knows what's behind that is that an exit out is it to the washroom who knows i love it though the little custom door is like the cutest little add-on oh and downstairs is this subway <laughs> The sale with Tom Nook's picture. I love when people put little custom artworks and little things on the walls everywhere. Look, the neon on the wall where the tracks are. So, yeah, this is definitely a subway station. Look, this is where you get your tickets coming through. And you can sit and you can wait. Oh, I love it. I love when rooms are not rooms. This is, like, one of my favorite things. So good. Stairs in almost every direction, but oh, how the gyroid playing music, but how pretty is this? The view. Oh, this is what I, when I was expecting, like an old style, like classic kind of European looking, I was expecting like all of the, the row houses, but you know, brightly colored and really, this is so pretty. What a view and the water, like that is so pretty. I love it. I love the faux stairs looking like you can get up. I love the simple panels. The whole thing is just beautiful. Just beautifully done. Let's go back up since there's nowhere to go from there. And then let's go down. Oh, that's the secret beach. Okay, so going down leads to the secret beach. I love the little, little details like this. The wood planks at the bottom of the ramp leading down to the water where there's just little boat waiting to go out into the water how beautiful another two main houses oh and it's this kind of the same over here i just want to go down and take a look at these houses that that is the view right there that's so pretty when i think like really old style european villages not even a town of village this is what I'm thinking, and how pretty those customs are gorgeous. Look at the pink one with a, it's almost like a fleur de lis, I think that's what it's called, design on it. And then the blue windows. This is beautiful to me. Just this, this right here. This is a postcard. But let's go back up to where we were, and we have more main houses. Just the amount of main large houses on this island are crazy. Crazy, but we are gonna stop in and we're gonna see them all so let's go inside this is beautiful but it's also is this like this is definitely just a house this is somebody's house this is at first I was kind of at first I thought that uh, I'm pointing to the side that that island type right over here was almost like a desk like a reception desk but it's not it's just a room divider and this is a beautiful living room and i love the little custom designs everywhere on this island look at this little custom couch and then you've got like this custom rug on the floor just such a cozy little living space And you've got this almost like rustic kitchen. 
I'm going to call it. I love the windows on the back. Tell me those glow in the dark stickers were not the greatest add on for people that are creating houses. I've only just recently myself started using them. Um, it's just hard because finding really good customs is hard. So I love when I see them in houses in this floor to ceiling window design. It's just so pretty. If you've even got the curtains on the side. I love it. So good. We have the restroom, washroom, if you will. Look at how big this is. I am so jealous. Look at the space heater. I love the little space heater. But then you've got the radiator on the wall. And I don't know. There's just something about the old radiators that I love. I don't I would I would put one in my house even if it didn't work just as like an aesthetic thing. I just think they look so good. But look at this little bath and shower area. The dried flowers on the wall. This is just an elegant bathroom. And then to be determined Oh, upstairs is just the most elegant bathroom. Oh, they went shopping at that boutique. You know how I know? The pillow. They bought a pillow from the fancy boutique. Love that. Look at the art on the wall. The custom art behind. Oh, how pretty. It's a beautiful room. I love the way they've built up the walls as well. So nice. Oh, they've even got little extra lighting. And like, it's just beautiful. What a beautiful room. I love the add-on of the pillow. Oh, it downstairs is like a, a very separate. Is this a huge room? Look at the snow falling outside. That's so beautiful. With the fireplace going... The beds. Look at the colors on that lamp. And then the custom art. Like just all of the little custom details on this island are everything. They just make it. We've got the little washroom area down here. It's a fancy room. Gosh, the main houses are so beautifully done on this island. I feel like I'm in an old European village. Look at these streets. Oh, they're beautiful. We have one more main house and then I think we have covered main houses. There's so many. This one has books out front, so I'm guessing that it's possibly a library, but we won't know till we go inside. Definitely a library. Oh, look at that. Ba I love that. That is one of my favorite customs. The stairs leading up to the railing in an old style library. Look at that view. Let's see if I can flip around. That's so pretty. I love it. Just an old, old rustic library. I would love to go up there. I bet you just you can smell the books. Just being in here, I can smell books. I love this too. You can pick out your book. You can get out your book and then you can come into the side, get yourself a little pastry, a little espresso, and you can just sit and relax at one of the tables and have your snack and your drink and just enjoy your book. This is lovely. Upstairs is definitely giving off apartment. Like a lot of these buildings, yes, they are stores and shops and whatnot. But above the shops are always like these little apartments. And this is so perfect. I love the bed. Little kitchen area, the living room area. This is a nice, I would stay here. This is a nice little apartment. Nice big windows, nice and bright and sunny. Absolutely. Downstairs is like a lounge. Okay. 
It's a little nightlife over here. You've got the bar area set up. You've got the gyroid running it, which is just adorable. You've got the DJ booth set up. Tables, drinks, music. Yay, it's a little nightlife here on Heart Pond. I think if you haven't noticed, what I'm loving about this, aside from just how actually beautiful the island is, is the detail that they have put into everything. If you haven't noticed, there's little record players and radios throughout every spot in this island. So each part of the island and each house and each area has a very specific music that's playing for it. And that's just so cool. I love when people just take that extra time and put that extra effort in. It's just, it's beautiful. I had to come back down here because, again, what is this view? It's absolutely beautiful. Like, I feel like I'm on the canals in some village in some port of France somewhere out in this rustic village area. It's just beautiful. There's a little fish in the canal. Right back up and around where we were. Look at the little shops everywhere. The boats. I love the roadways. What way do we go? There's so many different ways to go. Okay, the gyroid and the gnome playing a game at the table. So cute. And then you come down and you see all of these little restaurants and shops and winding little back roads and alleys where you're going to find the coolest places, by the way. Over here you have the fishermen catching the fish right out in the ocean and bringing it by boat. Over here there's the crate. Like, this is so pretty. We have more villager houses. Unfortunately, those villagers are not home, so we are going to continue Walking these beautiful streets. What is this? It's another little shop. Is that like an actual shop? If anybody knows, let me know. But they've got like pretzels and treats. What is this? Cherry pie, five dollars, five cent. Look at all the, the little food shops and cafes. How precious is this? can go in. Look at that bakery. The cakes up top. The signage they have is so pretty. I love the roads. It almost feels cobblestone. There's pizza and games over here so you can come to the pizza place. Sit down, have a pizza, come play some games. But look at these builds. Oh, I love this. There's a cafe right here. Look, you can sit up top with the umbrella. Oh, it's Bruce Stoyd. I love it. You can sit, though, on the top with the roof at the table with the little umbrella and just watch the views. I don't think I can go any further than that. No. I just want to make sure. And then over another canal and bridge, you can walk along. Look at the little snowmen. This little town is just, like, I would love to come and visit. It's just beautiful. I mean, we are technically, we are visiting right now, but I mean, like in real life, like this, I feel like this is fairly accurate and it makes me want to go on vacation. The little shops, there's like an art, play, pottery, maybe like a thrift shop or an antique shop. There's sales going on, but it's the customs and the builds and the little, like, little shops that are just so precious. Able Sisters with the hat. Oh, I love the little custom Able Sisters sign. That's so fitting. And the Able Sisters fits in so perfectly with the design of this island. I mean, I've never seen something blend so seamlessly. And then right beside it, we have what looks like is to be another bakery. There's bread. There's a sign outside for bakery, but this villager's home, so obviously we're going to go inside and check it out. It's Ioni's house, and it is definitely a bakery. Look at the tables full of breads and pretzels, and then you have the pastries in the shelf. 
get the espresso machine. Oh, I love it. So regal in here. Very fancy bakery. Going down, following the roads. Again, you go from this like village area to like rustic rural areas to these little townhouses back to these main streets with the shopping. Oh, there's um Nick's cranny is tucked in over here. It's like a it's like an everything store. It's got gas, we're open, it's a convenience store. It's it's nooks. And then we have this. They are not home but if this is a thing as well what is it uh, the sign is beautiful and it almost looks like a seagull or a pigeon maybe some sort of bird on it but i'm not sure what it is following the streets down a little further on and towards the beaches so we're in kind of like this dock area oh uh, we are open seafood right by the water. How beautiful is that? Could you imagine coming up, ordering like the freshest seafood, and then sitting right by the water, especially at night with the candles going on a dock? Oh, that's romantic. I love the dock area and the boats all set up. This island, I want to go on vacation now. I'm going to continue walking along the streets. Look at all the bridges everywhere. Oh, we have another villager house. And this also has a sign. I saw it on the way in. It says Cafe Open. So I'm hoping it's some sort of coffee shop, bakery, patisserie, if you will. Let's go inside. Oh, this is cute. This is very... This is Sasha's place, and this is giving very much so like mom and pop's cafe. Like, come in, you grab a coffee, you sit on the couch, you relax. It's not very formal. It's just a place where everybody can come and get something nice and warm and caffeinated. Relax. Look at the coffee selection on the wall. Love that. back outside and onto the streets look at these just look at the streets look at this boardwalk oh it's so pretty you've got all these little stalls and shops set up so it's like a marketplace down by the water then oh a little gas station set up in the corner their little customs on the signs everywhere are just too cute like there's signage for everything. There is no guessing anything in here. It's just beautiful. Then we're back around to where we came in, right back at the airport in this beautiful, rural, rustic area. What an amazing, amazing island. It's just so beautiful. The transitions between the rural, the rustic, the small village feeling, the town where you can go shopping. It's just wonderful. They did such a good job. The details with the different music everywhere. The houses being some houses, some are shops, some are built in, some are actual living areas. Just stunning. The boats, the waterways. I loved it. This was just such a wonderful wonderful island so detailed so amazing to visit i highly recommend you come and spend some time on heart pond i am going to go ahead and end my visit here if you guys had as much fun as i did touring around this island don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as always thank you for those likes subscribes thumbs up comments everything that you do to interact and come be here and watch with me means absolutely everything to me thank you so much and as always you guys know i'm gonna be back with more Animal Crossing videos.